I'm going to go through the milling plan for you so that you can understand how planning can make your milling process go a little bit quicker. So last week I asked you to actually physically draw your AutoCAD version of this uh, product. And so here is my AutoCAD version of it. And then around it, I put where I think my block is going to be. And um, then I drew my milling cutter. That's the first thing I want to do is I want to draw what's going to happen each time. And after I get a drawing done, I'm going to make a layout of it that says, what am I going to do? So I'm going to start something like this, and I'm going to move it to about the center of my object. The closer I can get, the better it turns out. And then I'm going to turn the power on with my 25 millimeter cutter, and that's going to cut my hole. And that's step one. And it says to um, zero, zero it once I get to the middle so that everything sets about that. So that's my plan. That's what I would do first. And if I can see this, then it's obvious for me what's going to happen. When I get that done, I'm going to make a copy of that and decide what I'm going to do next. Let me uh, get that to show a little bit better. So what am I going to do? I'm going to move it in fast travel so that my milling cutter edge is right on the dimension of the edge of the part. Okay, so I fast travel it down and then I put my milling cutter exactly where it goes. So I use quadrant to quadrant or quadrant to midpoint or quadrant to perpendicular. But I drew it so the edge of my milling cutter was right where I want to make my cut. And then I'm going to document what I'm going to do. I moved it down and I can take my dimension. I'm not showing it to you because you need to figure out that dimension and put it in. But you move it down so that the center is at a certain dimension that I can read off of my monitor. And then I turn my cutter on and I go sideways and I go sideways and I make this edge right here. Okay. And then when I'm done with that, I'll do my next thing, which I've decided, and you don't have to go in this order. You could do a different order. You could run up an edge and around, all sorts of different ways you can do it. But I chose then to fast travel to the top, put my cutter so that the edge of the cutter is right where I want to cut my part, and then I'm going to run it sideways. That's what I chose to do for step three. So I'll run it and I can measure from center to center and get that measurement. And then I know on my position indicator what to run the center of my mill to, and then I can cut sideways. So you're just going to go through all of those steps. I've got step four, step five, step six, step seven, step eight, Step nine, step 10, turn this thing 45 degrees, put my cutter right where it should be. Okay, get the right size cutter and run it back and forth sideways. And step 11, and then I should have my part. That should be it. So you're gonna, you're gonna make a little layout of each of those in order so that you can understand what you're going to do ahead of time. And you're going to give yourself the information, the clues, and you're just going to read it drawing by drawing by drawing. And you'll step through that. Look how easy it is just to get this one. Put the center at a certain X, Y reading, turn it on and cut. Okay, so that's how you're going to do it. Now, I want to show you a cool tool that will help put this all together. So I have all of, all of these things, and I can do something called publish them. So I go to the big A in here, A, and publish. I can, I can publish them as a batch print. And let me go back. I think um, I go... Click uh, 
No, I'm sorry. I'm going to print batch plot. That's what I wanted to do. Print and batch plot. Click. And then this comes up and I can say, oh, I want to, I want to print all of my layouts. I'm going to print all my layouts. So I can print it to PDF. So that's cool. I'm going to print it to PDF. And I'm going to look at my options here. My options should say where I'm going to put this PDF. It should say multi-sheet and uncheck prompt for name and click, you know, whatever you're going to call this thing. I've called it assignment three milling code. Okay. I set it up for not the greatest quality because I don't really care. Okay. I'm just trying to get something. So, okay. So you can set up that. Make sure that you have all of these things checked. I need to actually check them all. There they go. And I'm, I don't really need this one, so I can I can keep that one off. I can uncheck all of these. I don't need a plot stamp. Publish in the background is slow. Don't do that. And open the viewer when it's done, so I can probably do that. So uh, I'll go look for it instead of do that. So I'm going to just click, click, publish. And I've already got it done once, but I'm going to go and replace it. And I don't need to keep this unless I want to. And there it is. It's publishing one to the Verizon 79. It published 12 of them. So it did publish my main one. And I'll go look for it and I can see it. And there's my main file. So, uh, and there's each one. And so now you've got a nice, easy reference to go by. Now, when you put your portfolio together, you can take a snip of each one of these and make them smaller or you can just import this thing right into your, um, each one can be a page, but you can, for your portfolio, you can probably put four of these to a page and just have um, uh, three, three sheets of it, right? So there you go. That's how to do it. You're going to, and I'll tell you, this will take much less time. There's 11 steps. Each step should take you two to three minutes since uh, you know what you're doing. So now you could, quote, make this part in maybe 35 or 40 minutes, certainly within an hour. So that's what we're shooting for, that you can make your part in an hour. Now, it took me about 30 minutes to do all of this work. It took me about 30 minutes to write my instructions and get my dimension and move my circle where I wanted it to. So it's going to take you about an hour and a half to get this done, I think. All right, there we go. That is your milling plan development.